A Colorado teenager is working with a state lawmaker to improve police interactions with people who have disabilities that can't be seen. They're called invisible disabilities, and they can really complicate situations when police arrive. The proposed solution, a symbol on the person's driver's license. Sean Boyd joining us tonight, and Sean, sounds like a great idea. And Jim, you know, when someone is in a wheelchair, no one questions whether they deserve a parking spot like this. But if someone parks here and walks even a short distance on their own, we question what we can't see. Could be multiple sclerosis, chronic pain, invisible disabilities. And when police can't see a disability, whether it's ADHD, schizophrenia, autism, OCD, it can be tragic. A little tin teenager hopes to change that. Most of her life, Rebecca Zickerman wouldn't talk about her disability, let alone give a speech about it. That all changed last year when she disclosed in speech and debate class that she had cerebral palsy, which affects her motor skills. Really, really fortunate to have such a mild case, but that also means that it is invisible, so people don't know about it. Um, and on a daily basis, I do have to kind of deal with the repercussions of that. The speech was the beginning of an extraordinary effort by the teenager who convinced a state lawmaker to carry a bill creating a license that has a special ID symbol for people with invisible disabilities. I think she's very courageous. For Representative that, Daphna michaelson Janae, it was an easy sell. Her son has autism. If police officers were to put arms on him, he would respond in a way that really re reminded me of the way Elijah McClain responded. This symbol on a person's license, she says, would alert an officer that there may be a reason a person can't make eye contact, for example, or walk a straight line. The bill also calls for training of officers, which Jess Stainbrook with the Invisible Disabilities Association says is key. See, if I whip out this card and you don't know what this symbol means, what good is it, right? And so we really have been trying to undertake the process of creating what I would call a certification. Imagine being able to communicate that before a tragedy occurs. So to be able to know that I'm not alone, um, but that I can help other people has been a really amazing experience. Now, Alaska is the only state so far to pass a similar bill into law. If the legislation here passes, a person could voluntarily get that symbol put on their license with a doctor's note. It is estimated one in 10 people have some kind of invisible disability. Live in Lafayette, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.